Here we go, Johnny LaSalle, the painter man on the scene again with another video. Uh, this time I'm actually painting an exterior of a home. And as I'll get into the details, um, I'm gonna share with you uh, what it is that I'm doing here and what type of application this is. As you always know, I always have something new that I like to share. In this case, I'll explain to you exactly what I'm doing. Uh, the scenario here is a home that is actually aluminum sided and it's all metal. Uh, the aluminum has been on for quite some time. So there is some uh, pitting that takes place, some oxidizing that takes place. And uh, and what I have done is I have repainted this home, or I am in the process of repainting this home. Uh, I will branch the camera around so you guys can take a look and I will continue explaining to you what it is that you're seeing, okay? Um, but first, I would like to say that, you know, this is, uh, it's a beautiful place. Uh, we're currently in Marlboro, Massachusetts, and uh, right across from Lake Williams. It's a beautiful site over here. I'm gonna turn the camera so you guys can see, okay? All right. This is what you're gonna see, okay? This is Lake Williams, it's a beautiful place. This is very, uh, actually very close to the uh, Marlboro District Court. Um, and as you see over there in the distance, uh, you're going to see uh, Route 20, which actually goes across the state and into New York. And the traffic that you see looping around here off to the right there uh, is connecting with I Interstate 495. So that's the uh, that's the interstate. That's that's why you see a lot of traffic going around. Anyways, let's go back to what I was doing here. This is the home that I'm actually painting. Okay, as you see, most of the windows are masked off. I'm currently doing the second coat on the siding, as I said, uh, is is aluminum sided. It's not a very large home. This side here is actually drying, as you see. The shed that you see there, I have painted three sides of that shed. Uh, and the shed uh, and the house will share the same color scheme. It's a no-brainer to do that. So you have an association of the little structure with the larger structure. Uh, this home here that I'm painting has been, uh, belonged to a 90-year-old woman. She is now in a nursing home, but this is the home that she and her children and her husband made for themselves and the kids who are now uh, uh, in their 50s um, grew up here. So I'll branch around. See, as I said, the, uh, the shed here has the same color scheme. So it's a, it's a very light, light gray and the trim uh, is uh, an off-white, but not too creamy. And I'll tell you why it is that the light colors were selected. It's because uh, aluminum siding tends to heat up extremely fast. As you see here, there aren't any trees that are sheltering this house from the heat. So whenever the sun comes up, it's beating down on this structure and, and it gets really hot. So I'm, I'm going to be working in the shade at some point, but I had to uh, take time and mix my paint. And speaking of paint, I want to explain to you what type of paint to use for aluminum siding. Uh, if you wanted to paint a mobile home, you're going to use the same application. Uh, as you see here, I'm using a Graco Ultimate MX 490. It is a commercial and residential spray unit. It will spray a little more than half a gallon per minute. And it's able to push this type of coating. This coating is not too thick. However, there's an additive 
that needs to be added. The, the coating that we're using, and, and a lot of people see Sherwin-Williams, okay? The coating that I'm using here is called Duration. This is top of the line for any type of metal painting work, especially aluminum. Aluminum has has uh, some, uh, what do you call it, uh, oxidizing that takes place with aluminum. And it's prior to applying this coating, you have to power wash the aluminum with TSP. TSP acts as an etcher. They call it an etcher. And what it does, it just takes that, it neutralizes that ox, ox, uh, oxidizing or oxidity. And uh, it, it evens it out so that we can apply a coating to it. And it opens the pores. It actually opens the pores of the metal itself. The product that you see above here, this product right here, this is a must. This is the product that's going to uh, uh, add adhesion to this product. Basically, this is duration on steroids. This is the steroid right here. And once you mix it in, you got to mix four quarts or one quart per gallon. In this case, I have used one gallon for a five gallon bucket and I add a little bit of water because the emulsibon is actually going to thicken this coating, the duration. Okay, I'll switch around so you can see my face. The uh, Duration, the reason why I choose Duration, and why Sherwin-Williams, I know a lot of people prefer Benjamin Moore, but Sherwin-Williams has, has always been the trendsetter when it comes to high performance coatings. Uh, and uh, the, pretty much every other company has now copied it. Uh, another company that's probably comparable to Sherwin Williams, which is worldwide, it's called ICI. And ICI is in other countries as uh, the product name called Deluxe. Okay, so ICI, I know I've been to Brazil and ICI is in Brazil. Sherwin Williams is also there. And all of these products are, are there as well. Uh, duration is pricey, uh, it has good, good adhesion protection it turns rubbery it hugs the, the the surface that it's going to be painted on or applied to and it gives you longevity in this type of application like I said there's a lot of heat but here in New England what we don't only go through heat we go through cold so you have the expansion and the contraction taking place putting stress on that coating and if it's a coating that can't withstand stress you're gonna have paint failure and don't blame your painter okay if the painter does not have the experience he's gonna use probably a type of product that's not supposed to be used on this type of application for this type of home with metal siding this applies to fences this applies to uh, like mobile homes um, even roofing okay this could even be applied to a roof an aluminum roof however you always have to etch and open those pores okay so this is uh, I am currently spraying this material on the tip size that I'm using is a 208 it's a fine extremely fine finish airless tip by Graco a Graco base I'm using the blue base which is a premium base top of the line and um, and the, the Graco, uh, what did I say, 208. 208, for those who don't know what it is, 208 means two times two equals four. Four inch fan on my gun. Where's my gun? Let me find my gun. In this case, I prefer, every time I spray, I prefer the four finger grip. This is the Titan LX80 with a little little wand attached to it for so you can separate yourself from the from the painting this is the tip it's a 208 as I said it's fine finish why fine finish tip 
because that siding has no grooves in it has no it's not like wood it's it's smooth surface so you want to give it that factory that factory finish okay so that's what Johnny LaSalle the painter man is doing today and I wanted to drop in with something new so people can understand and know uh, that there's painting it's not just painting you have to learn the purpose of the coating and how to use the coating and for what application you can't just use regular paint another the finish here is satin finish see the lake there's a lot of lake effect winds that come across that lake and blast right against this home okay I know for a fact because I lived here next door and um, I know what happens it gets awfully cold here boy there's no protection this house sits up from the hot from the road here route 20 okay in Marlboro Massachusetts so we say this house sits up high and um, it gets really cold really cold so and then when the Sun comes up it gets extremely hot so this siding here it gets it, it, <laughs> it goes through extreme temperature changes you know if you know what I mean so guys have a wonderful day God bless you thank you for dropping in and um, checking out what the painter man does and um, let's love each other let's be be good to one another and, uh, and make it meaningful for everybody here on this earth so Enjoy your day. We'll talk to you soon. I'll turn around and we'll, I do, you know the routine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Don't forget, Emol Saban with duration for aluminum siding. You guys take care. God bless you.